am joined with my nan. You can only see her shoulder at the minute. There you go, because she doesn't want to be on camera. But I have been asked some questions to do a bit of a Q&A for you guys. So that's what we're going to do. So the first question is, what is your most memorable lesson that your parents have ever taught you? Honesty and respect for elders. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that fits for you and Grandad as well. Yes. But another thing that you've always taught me as well is to always be myself. Yeah, be yourself. Which I don't do often, but that's that's a memorable mm, lesson that you know. guys have taught me. Mm. <laughs> so the next one is, who was your favourite teacher in school and why? Mr Malcolm. He was a very good <laughs> English teacher. <laughs> Anything you specifically remember about him? He was nice <laughs> and kind. Yeah. And thoughtful. Yeah. And helped a lot. Yeah, because you think sometimes teachers as well shape your personality because you're with them 20, like, not 24 hours of the day, but you're with them for a good chunk of the day as well. Uh, mine, I would go for one of my primary school teachers. I'd have to go for Mr. Groves. Okay, man. He was such a good teacher. He was so funny as well. And um, he was a little bit of a hippie, not going to lie. And uh, he came into school one day and he let us, he just let us paint his car. No, no, nothing really to do with it. But he just decided that he would let us paint his car, <laughs> which came out great. <laughs> a mess. Yes, it was a mess. <laughs> but he drove around in it for like a, for like two weeks, maybe even more than that. The next one is growing up. What did you think you were going to be doing for a living? Sales assistant, because I grew up with my uh, as my granddad had a grocery shop shop and i always used to help that is so cute that keep it in the cute. family keep isn't it? it in the family yeah with me i don't know why but i had an obsession with horses when i was younger didn't i you did and for some strange reason i got it into my head that i wanted to be a policewoman on horseback mm. and i kept that up for quite a while didn't i mm. <laughs> and then it just randomly changed i can't remember what it changed to well, nothing. But it it, ch it changed to something, and then I just kind of didn't want to go through with that anymore. Mm. But I don't know why I was so madly obsessed with horses. I know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably because Grandad always used to take me for donkey rides whenever we used to go to Western. Mm, could be. I don't know, but there it is. The next one is, what is the best trip that you've ever been on? Now, we can't decide between two, so... Three. Well, three. My nan's got a couple and Sorry. I've got a couple as well. So what would you say? I, I'll say our 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah. When we went to the Gypsy Museum. <laughs> it, it was a place about like the Gypsy and Romany culture. Just so as I don't get backlashed for that. Yeah. <laughs> and our 40th wedding anniversary. When oh, we went mind. to Western Super <laughs> That was really good. Yeah, we, we threw a massive party because it was their Ruby wedding anniversary. And we had so many people there. There was loads. Um, but yeah, that was good. You took mine, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> and the last, well, not the last one because we've had so many. But Brixham, after my operation, we went to Brixham. Oh, yeah. I and that, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. Grandad looked after Nan so well then. Cause Nan, he always does. Yeah, Nan wasn't 100%. And if really? Nan ever wanted to go anywhere, he'd drop everything he was doing and goes, right, we're going out, doing whatever you wanted to do. And he'd always make sure you were all right, didn't he? He did. He still does. Yeah. Even even though Grandad's not very well himself, he still tries to make sure that you're okay, doesn't he? He certainly does. Yeah. With me, I'd have to go for my 18th birthday because that... I remember like it was yesterday. I got to choose whether I had an 18th, a big 18th, or a big 21st. And I went for a big 18th, didn't I? You did. And I I loved it because I got to spend time with one of my friends, uh, my nan and granddad, and my auntie as well. 
and we just did whatever i wanted to do for the day which kind of wasn't much was it not really we got wet we got absolutely <laughs> drenched in the rain and my friend was complaining to me she was like i just washed my flipping hair which was quite funny but then the other one i would have to say is when we went to dawlish the first time i completely forgot about that i only just remembered it because oh. that was the first sort of big holiday that we'd had away from western as a family and my auntie was there as well um and it was just so lovely out there because it's a small sort of seaside town but then where the campsite was it was sort of out of the town center so it was almost like you were on a little bit of an island by yourself which was really nice and i just got to do whatever i wanted to do i'd just say to my auntie can we go here she'd be like yep bye then granddad see you whenever and we'd go off do our own thing which meant that you got a break from me being a pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the next question is, what was life like when you were my age? I am 21 at the moment. So what was life like for you when you were 21? Life was good. <laughs> Explain a bit more. It was very good. <laughs> I had a, a child. Yeah, my uncle. And uh, my husband, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um and i worked evenings yeah because it was hard then yeah not you, a lot of money about no you were juggling a kid looking after a husband and looking after a house yes whilst you were 21 yes meanwhile me i've had it easy yes <laughs> but i wouldn't change it no, i love no. living with my grandparents of course she does <laughs> You're so cheeky. <laughs> Do you see where I get my sense of humour from? She's so cheeky. Fourth question is, what has kept you going through lockdown? My husband. <laughs> That's actually quite adorable. Well, what would you say about Grandad's kept you going through lockdown? Well. Aside he's... from the looking after him, bless him. Yeah. Well, yeah, looking after him, but just that he's here and... We just get on with it really and yeah yeah although he has come out with a couple of really good corker jokes and they corkers <laughs> oh god <laughs> they always take the mick out of me as well if i fall flat on my face oh that is so funny <laughs> <laughs> but um we were talking about it the other day of like different falling overs that we've had and we were just laughing so much about it weren't we we were it was so funny because oh. she bounces <laughs> Thank you for that, Nan. Great, great. Lol. I mean, for me, I'd probably have to say you and Grandad. Because <coughs> I'm just laughing at things. I'd have to say you and Grandad because, you know, you're just hilarious. Whenever, whenever my Nan's sort of doing her own little thing just by herself or something, she will come out with the most stupidest things in the world. And you make me laugh so much. But the thing that makes me laugh even more is your laugh. When you absolutely wet yourself with laughter, I can't contain I, it. I didn't actually wet myself. No, no. <laughs> but when Nan is actually properly laughing her head off, I can't contain it. She's just so funny. And you remind me of your mum when you laugh. Mm. Because you and your mum look the spit of each other when you laugh. It's so funny. Oh, God. And with Grandad as well, he's really sort of grounding if you get what i mean no like not only will he be there for you but then he'll also give you a kick out the butt if you need it which i i've definitely needed during lockdown trust me i've needed that so bad and out of it <laughs> yes <laughs> but there we go that has been questions with my nan <laughs> being an idiot now <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that video with my nan i absolutely love filming with her it's the first time i've done it but she always always makes me laugh and yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see all of you in the next one bye